Hello and welcome to this AE Basics tutorial. This is the final one on export and the final one on Adobe Media Encoder for exporting our compositions from After Effects. Now this particular one doesn't completely fit in with that. You may have exported a video file and you want to then change that video file and then re-encode it to different file formats. And that's what we're going to be doing with the Media Encoder. We're going to be using the Watch Folder item down here. Now, a watch folder is a folder that you create, usually on your desktop or somewhere where you know where it is, that you can just throw a video file into. Adobe Media Encoder is watching that folder, and as soon as it sees a file thrown into it, it says, aha, what they want me to do is re-encode it to whatever it's been set up to re-encode to. So you need to create a watch folder, and you need to have that watch folder inside Adobe Media Encoder with different formats set up for it. It's very simple to do. We could click the plus button here, add a folder, but let's create a folder on our desktop first of all. So I'm just going to right click on my desktop and go new folder. And I'm going to call this my watch folder. And I would kick that on my desktop, ready to throw in a file at some point. Now, Adobe Media Encoder, I'm going to click the plus button and I'm going to go to watch folder and I'm going to select it and click OK. The alternative is actually you can just drag it from the desktop into the watch folder but I'm just going to click OK and there it is and I'm just going to pull it up it's got one setting already on it and we can see the output is going to be in the watch folder note so on my desktop is the watch folder and the output what's going to happen when it's finally finished is in a subfolder inside that folder called output but I've actually already got a media group that I've set up here so what I could do is just grab the group on top of the watch folder and let go and now it's going to output lots of different versions of my footage to all these different ones that are inside the group. And if I don't want them all, I can simply select any one of them and hit the negative key to get rid of it. So I'm actually going to get rid of a few of them. Let's just have two kept. So let's keep the Android one. So let's get rid of the iPad one. And let's get rid of the sequence. I don't want an image sequence at this time. So just get rid of those two. So any video file I drop into the watch folder will automatically be encoded, because Media Encoder is watching it, to an Android size and to YouTube, and any others that I've got in here. In previous versions, you have to drag in another watch folder for each version and add a preset to it. CS6, you can add as many presets as you like to the watch folder. So, nothing set up here, and I have a video file. So, this is a video file that I did before of a flag waving. It's only a small one, so when we actually upscale it, it's going to look pretty rough, actually, because it's so small. But even so, we'll use this as an example. Here's a video file. So I'm going to take that video file, and I'm going to drop it into my watch folder. And now I'm going to go to Media Encoder, and I'm just going to watch and see what happens. Media Encoder is watching that folder. And there it started. It's actually brought them both in and it's encoding them very quickly. As I say, they're going to look a bit rough because they're going to be stretched out so big. First one's done and the second one's going to be done any moment now. So Media Encoder is watching it. It might take a minute or two to pick it up, but it's encoded it. It's outputted it. And if I now go to my desktop and I open up the Watch folder, you'll see that I've got the Source. So if I double click that, you can see that we've got the Source folder there and there's the original Source but also I've got the output and there are my two output versions and you can see they're going to look a bit rough because they're going to be so big but we can double click one of those you can see that will be the Android tablet it's been stretched out so it looks a little bit a little bit soft around the edges but even so it's worked out pretty well so that's for outputting movie formats the only thing I would say to be a little bit careful of is if you are going to put in a image sequence of some sort if you drop the image sequence into the watch folder it'll create a new one of these folders for every single one of the images but it will output them all it'll just keep your media encoder fairly busy for a while so just be careful with image sequences it's okay putting a video file in and exporting it to an image sequence but putting an image sequence in it treats every image as a separate file that needs to be encoded so that's how we can use watch folders very powerful very quick solutions and those are all the different options I'm going to do for After Effects Basics export. I hope you found these tutorials really useful. I hope you're going to start using Adobe Media Encoder. I think it's a brilliant redesign in CS6, the best it's been, and certainly the program of choice for outputting 
from both Premiere Pro and After Effects. My name's Andrew Davis and thank you for watching.